We're asked to determine the relative and absolute extrema of the given function. We have f of x equals negative three log x, where x is greater than zero and less than or equal to 10. And we have the graph of the function over the given domain here on the right. Let's begin by identifying any high and low points on the graph. First, notice how we have a vertical asymptote of x equals zero, or the y-axis. And as the function approaches x equals zero, the function values increase without bound. Also notice how the function is decreasing over the given domain. So because we have a decreasing function and we have a vertical asymptote of x equals zero, whereas we approach x equals zero, the function values increase without bound, we will not be able to identify any high points on the graph, and therefore there is no absolute maximum or relative maximum. So let's go ahead and state D and E for the absolute maximum and the relative maximum. But notice how we do have a low point on the graph, this right end point, where the ordered pair is 10 comma negative three. And because this is the lowest point of all the points on the graph, this point does represent the absolute minimum. If we take a look at the definition below, f of x has an absolute or global minimum of f of c and x equals c if f of c is less than or equal to f of x for all x in the domain. So notice how the function value of negative three is less than or equal to all the other function values, which is why negative three is the absolute minimum, which occurs at x equals 10. So we list negative three as the absolute minimum. And now we need to determine if this low point is also a relative minimum. Let's look at the definition of a relative minimum. F of x has a relative or local minimum of f of c at x equals c if f of c is less than or equal to f of x for all x in some open interval containing x equals c. So in order for f of c to be a relative minimum, x equals c must be in some open interval, which means we must be able to approach x equals c from the left and right in order for f of c to be a relative or local minimum. So because this low point is an endpoint, we're not able to approach x equals 10 from the right, and therefore, even though this is a low point, it does not meet the definition of a relative minimum, and therefore the function doesn't have a relative minimum over the stated domain. And therefore we enter D and E for relative minimum. I hope you found this helpful.